Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Germany. Let's continue on for the last left off. So, artillery attack plus one. That's nice. Not going to complain about that. And I do believe by the end of today's video, we should be in a situation that we can begin the rush for Africa. I mean, maybe we've, I mean, we've kind of already started. But, you know, the final, final push for the rush for Africa. I have of electricity. Did not have Edison light bulb. I mean, electricity is an 1880 tech. So, you know, we might as well get that as well. Get a bunch of industry tech. Seem nice to me. We got the liberals in charge. You know what? For once, it's actually not that big of a deal. We're making so much money right now. That I'm not even concerned. Cut their taxes. Who cares? We have $3.6 million in the bank. This is more or less just like a war chest. Just waiting, um, I don't care about Sikam. It's, it, it doesn't matter at all. But, you know, we have about 4 million pounds. This 4 million pounds is basically just saying, this is how much money I have when war breaks out. Still have 27 supply limit, which is incredibly bad. So, you know, our alliance right now, the German faction is looking pretty, pretty solid, I would say. Like, Sakam is like one of these guys. I don't remember which one it is. But still. So, I mean, Russia's expanded a decent amount. Not my favorite. Oh, yeah, the problem with them is that... Is, is my factory in the Congo at least still building? Or do they cancel my factory? I don't know. France, who are you at war with? That'll determine... You're at war with the British? I'll give you... I'll give both sides military access. I'll play both sides off each other. That is fine. I mean, if I was gonna, if I was gonna strike anybody, like, now would be the chance. But I don't really think there's anything I can really... Reasonably do. Uh, Japan is gonna be attacking... Korea. Not a huge uh, surprise where the Pacific Peru is at worth a lot of people. That shouldn't last too, too long. So, I mean, like, an invasion of France now would be nice. But, like, what would I even want to take from them? Also, did I not give this territory back to Poland in my peace deal? I could have sworn I said they should get that back, but I guess not. Intergame of Chemistry is almost ready. We're going to have a new reform. What do you guys want the most? Common School movements? Absolutely A-OK -okay by me. Because Common School basically just means people will get more educated. I believe at least. So let's go for Electricity. Get that final tech for now. Allow us to build some automobiles, which will be useful when we want to build fully funded education. Fantastic. But automobiles are going to be useful when we want to start building tanks. And automobiles are also very, very expensive at, at, uh, when they first come out. So having our own production of uh, cars is going to be beneficial. There is no question about that. I mean, like, Gabon would be nice to have. You can already see that the French are putting a lot of... Uh, Settlers into it. Yeah, twenty percent French over in uh, North Algeria. Is that the core of theirs? Yeah, it is a state. It's not considered a colony, so you know they're kind of doing the same thing that we were. A lot of unemployed people. Okay, so their hostilities have ended. I don't even again. I don't even know what they're fighting over. I didn't actually check. Maybe I should have, but I don't think it's going to turn out to be a huge deal. So it looks like Japan will take over Korea. Nobody is surprised by that fact. Should be pretty easy for them to do so. Jacobin rebels in Italy. Are you a uh, semi-constitutional monarchy? So I'm surprised having such a uh, problem with you. 
What do you still need? You need a cavalry and an engineer. And like, one of you need like three infantry. Yeah, you need two infantry and a cannon, which we can also do... Not right now, but you know, soon. Spend a little bit of money on that, no big deal. When does the next level of railroad become available? Unless it already is and I'm just dumb. No, 1898. Very, very specific year. Incredibly specific. But it's going to be 1890 very, very, very soon. In about two more months. giving us It'll have us, again, a 40% chance every single month of actually researching what we want. Okay, electricity's been researched. Let's go better tax efficiency. And soon, my friends... The final rush for Africa shall begin. Boxer atrocities in the Qing Empire. But they just keep on giving us CBs. I really don't care that much. So he just immediately, day one, got to Dark Continent. So now, now, now. The French are already going here, which is not great. We want to put some guys here. We're going to put some points here. How many points does France have? They have 500 uh, power, which is not a ton. We should be able to get all this stuff pretty, pretty easily. I do want to compete. Why can I not go here? Life rating of 5. I want to compete with the French, obviously. Um... I think that's basically all of Africa we can start dealing with right now. So we're going to go on to these islands. There's got to be more islands. Yeah, take some islands over here. Why are you taking these islands? I mean, it's a great question, but it's mostly just because we can. Hawaiian Islands. Naval base is not close enough. Build another level up here then. Hopefully we can get some more distance. It doesn't look like the British have researched it quite yet. I mean, they should soon, but... Yeah, we won't be able to compete there quite yet. Yeah, but the British are now starting to compete with us. Not fantastic. The French are also trying to do some stuff. How many points do the British have? They probably have a ton, don't they? 1,400. Yikes. I mean, I just, that's pretty significant, to say the least. A lot of people are trying to compete over here. We're going to try to stay competitive. We're going to keep on building our naval bases. As much as we possibly can, because we need those for the colonial power. Uh, anywhere else we can actually build? No, we're basically already at max everywhere we can be. Build more battleships. Build some cruisers. And that should be good, at least for right now. From technology available, currently invested 800. Tide of maintenance kind of sucks, but what can he do? Can we upgrade any of our colonies down here? Yes, we're losing the race. I want to keep on putting points into them, putting points into here. So we're going to actually go down to speed 4 while we're in the rush. Do I not know points? No naval base close enough. What do you mean no naval base close enough? Pardon? I have naval bases like right here. What's the problem? Okay, the Japanese are also competing with us for these islands. Not a huge surprise. Again, I, you, it won't let me click here. No naval base close. What the, I don't know what you mean. There's no naval base close enough. We were able to cl click here in the first place. So in 1890, by September 28th. So September 28th, we can actually do some more colony stuff. We want to keep you with Britain here, because again, I want this entire area under my control. 
So I will compete with the British as much as I possibly can. We're a little bit over a supply limit, but, you know, that'll uh, fix itself soon. 16. I've got a lot of battleships right now. 28 ironclads, cruisers, clipper transports. Sorry, clipper transports. You're basically, basically just never going to get used. So I'd like to free that space, even though it only frees the space for like 40% of a battleship. Yeah, Cameroon, keep on putting points here. Again, now I can actually apparently have a nail base close enough. Keep on putting. Each one costs 20. Invest here. Invest here. Again, the British have 1,400 points. It's incredibly, incredibly expensive. Or they have a lot of power, I should say. The French don't. The, I mean, the French have 505, but they are competing in less territories, I believe, overall. France did take the middle here. But what can you do about that? Like, again, I'm surprised that the British don't try to colonize every single province they possibly can. I guess these are worth five. So I'm not too sure what their plan is to uh, colonize those. African farms and mines. Yeah, sure. I'm sure by clicking these buttons, I'm committing like massive atrocities in Africa. But, you know, what can you do? It is what it is. I'm going to immediately put the, uh, the nationalists back in charge right now. Open factories, subsidized factories. Upgrade as many factories as we possibly can. We have $5 million in the bank. We're looking pretty good. So minimum wage, suffrage. Sure, we can finally give the poor some say in our democracy. Not much, but some. So it's August right now. Next month, we will... Anywhere that we have, we're not actually competing, we should get the colonization. We can actually build fuel now. Getting fuel refineries would be nice. I don't remember what they actually need, though. What do you need for fuel? Oil refineries, you need oil, of course. Current funds, a ton. So I'm just going to build a handful of oil refineries just around, because we, we will need it at some point. Build some oil refineries. Fantastic. Just anywhere. I'm fine if they import it. Can we build automobiles yet? Not quite. And we'll have a handful of machine part factories as well. Just because we can. It'll probably be useful uh, later on. So at the end of this month, the 28th, we should probably get a handful of these territories just for ourselves. Unfortunately, these areas that are, are part of Britain... Okay, we're losing the race here. But we can establish protectorate. Put points in the EU. We can establish protectorate in these provinces. Immediately. Start competing. Apparently we can't compete over here in Uganda, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately we're not just not gonna be able to. So put points in here. We don't want to upgrade colonies quite yet. The reason you don't want to do that is you don't want to spend points on more or less nothing. These islands. Which of these islands was I trying to colonize? Was it you? No. It was this little guy up here. Status Protectorate. Fantastic. But again, we're not going to create a colony. It's a little bit more expensive. What are you? Organized Kenya? Sure. Seems fine to me. I just don't want to lose out on the rush for Africa. Obviously. So on the 8th of October, we can actually do some more investments. Namely here. Here. And... No, not you until December, I guess. I mean, I can withdraw support from this island. This port I'll upgrade, of course. It'd be foolish not to. Yeah, but we don't want to spend any political power on anything we don't actually need. Again, France, we should win all our battles against them because we uh, just have more points than they do. 
So in the end, things will go in our favor. Be ready in December. But the rush for Africa, it, it lasts like five years maybe in game. And then, you know, African borders don't really change until the world wars start breaking out. Which should be soon-ish, within the next ten in-game years. We should start seeing the civil or the the massive wars. Unfortunately, you will just win this battle. I can't get to Uganda, which is a sad day. I wanted this whole area under my control, but fortunately, we're just not going to be able to get there. Let's go back up to speed five. At, you know, it's like at the very least. I want to I want to be able to come next uh Kenya to Abyssinia. You know, at least here. Like these two provinces would be nice. Of course down here would be nice as well. I don't want Britain to link up. Those islands in like do I care about these islands? I mean, I have a thousand points right now. Japan has eleven hundred, which is a lot. Britain has sixteen hundred, which again is quite a bit. Keep on throwing some investments in all these areas. You won't be ready till the third of March, which is still a ways off. Unfortunately, again, I would like to trap France. Again, I don't care that much about the boxers. It's really not a big deal to me. Market regulations. We can go from culture stuff, education, efficiency, and culture and uh, colonial migration sounds nice to me. You're neutral. You're neutral. Everyone else seems like they're more or less not messing with my stuff, which seems good to me. Spain has some rebel problems. Uh, not that much. So you, you should be able to deal with that, I think, on your own just fine. Like, we can withdraw, we can withdraw from the Carolina Islands. Turkey, what are you doing? Who are you? You're worth Italy. Of course you are. Why? You want to... Libya requires all states to core territories. You know what? You're in my sphere. I'm going to decline your call of the war. I mean, you're gonna lose some. I'm gonna lose some prestige, but it is what it is. There's actually a bunch of nonsense happening right now. Keep on putting points here. We'll upgrade you right now. I think you need to be three levels ahead of the AI to actually make sure they can't do anything. Yeah, the race for the Carolina Islands. I mean, I'll keep putting points into you. I, I don't really care that much. I'm assuming this is against Russia, right? Like, Ukraine? I'm willing to try to release an independent Ukraine from Russia. I think that's going to be in our best interest. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.